We are because of you. Post your videos and messages on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram starting hashtag we are because of you. You know I call you my Oprah mom, my Kris Jenner, and that's because you're my number one cheerleader teaching me how to trust myself 100%. I love you, girl. <laughs> Not only was I blessed with my own mother, who is just all around perfect, but also I have two incredible grandmothers, and I have such amazing best friends. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. We are because of you. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. So all week and including today, we're getting ready for Mother's Day and Afternoon Express and Woolies have shared numerous ways to spoil that special lady in your life with beautiful gifts and flowers. But today we are going to give mom some time off and bake her a delicious gooey pavlova and decorate it with edible flowers. Yum. So <laughs> to show us exactly how to do that, we have Abigail Donnelly, creative and trend director of Woolworths in the loft. I mean, I love you and I love I when love you, you are. <laughs> and so today, th this is perfect for Mother's Day because my nana is like the meringue. I also queen. nana. I also call my yes. nana. This is yeah. Well, the bowl. I, there's something about this bowl that I've seen it before. I think Just I've don't seen drop it. it. I won't <laughs> drop it. This was my nana's bowl, and this is where I learned how to beat butter and sugar for her beautiful sponge really? cakes. Yeah. So I think my nana's got exactly I'm the sure same one. I'm sure she ones. has. If I break yeah. it, then I'm going to have to take her. <laughs> This has got a little awkward. crack, so I only serve salads in it now, but oh, okay, today I brought okay, it in okay. especially for the show. So, as you say, pavlova, my yes, favourite easy-peasy dessert. I usually use 16 eggs because I'm a bit yeah, over-generous with in food. In Portuguese, they say you go yeah, damage you... when you go, like, <laughs> overboard, but I like to go overboard. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So really it is, it's just beautiful egg whites and caster sugar. Okay. And a few little tips, obviously using fresh eggs, beautiful, yeah. fresh, free-range eggs or organic egg whites. And then caster sugar. Okay. And what I really like to do is keep the eggs at room temperature as yeah. well. They break easier and they whip beautiful. Because the trick is you want the sugar as you're whipping to melt into the egg white. Okay. And then it's not granular and then you get that beautiful, oh, smooth yes. texture. Okay, let's get into it. Because for some reason, making meringue seems quite intimidating to me. Do you want me to help you it with does, that? It does, yeah. I've heard so my answer. So you're going to probably have to do a little yeah. bit of lifting. Yeah, I don't but mind. I can Jean, do it. It really is. It's just about patience. And what I also like to do, and I learned this from a pastry chef, was that just to warm your bowl of sugar in a very slow oven, like at 120, and it doesn't melt, but it just warms it, and that helps also create that beautiful silkiness and no granule. I, I mean, mean, look at look that. Look at this. I mean, it's just I absolute mean, I heaven. I could just sit with so, a spoon in front of a good movie and eat this whole thing. I mean, that's <laughs> a little bit, because we waited a little bit, but that is a little too soft. I mean, you really okay. need stiff peaks. You really need okay. to take that bowl and kind of hang it over your head so it doesn't oh. fall. So, yeah, but it'll still work. Okay, so what I've got here is just a little baking tray, obviously with some baking paper. You can also use a silpat, which is silicone. Yeah. which I love for anything sticky because you don't yeah. want any you really don't want to like after you've done all this struggle to get that meringue off okay so, so just put a little do? bit of dot here just to stick little dot listen to me little few dots here <laughs> yeah there we go just to hold that just in. to hold the paper in but there that'll cook no and then it'll come yes yeah, yeah so that will just pop like Yum. that just to keep it nice and steady and even with baby meringues you can also do that and then Jeannie I'm just going to ask you to just plonk it all on I'm and just in a big too. pile. So what I also love to do is I really do make a huge meringue. Oh, and it usually takes about don't <laughs> let me break the bowl. <laughs> four hours to, to bake. Just like that. But you really can just bung it in the oven and then just carry on and do your rest oh. of your mom's like treats. There we go. That's probably going to be a little kind of like a pavlo uh, a flat Swiss roll pavlova, but that's oh, also fine. Oh, what was that supposed to do? No, it just hasn't whipped. Have I ruined it? No, no, you haven't. You haven't. Oh, thank you haven't. Well, I'll eat this one. We just need stiff peaks, that's all. Okay. And then usually oh. I love to add berries and coconut cream, but because clemongolds are in season and clemongolds are my favourite citrus. Have you had oh. clemongolds? I do. Yes. Clem actually was the first person to give me a clemongold. Oh. How sweet of him. Oh, Clem. Okay, okay so beautiful melted sugar 
and then some Ooh. segments of fresh clement gold. And Thanks you really just <laughs> you just need to <laughs> caramelise them. But as I said, it's just a little bit different because it's a winter fruit and I love cooking with season. Yeah. Season seasonality, obviously, your berries aren't in season. So um, yeah, and then you just give it a good kind of melt. That's you can amazing. See I've never seen all, this done. So you this can will see caramelising like as well. Yeah, just take a little oh, time, beautiful. five minutes, and then they kind of get like toffee. Toffee oranges, not toffee Can apples. Can you do this yeah. to anything? Like if I want yeah. like that in figs? Figs, berries. yeah, they, figs are a little bit soft. Berries are a little bit mushy. But yeah. anything, pears, really? fabulous, apple segments. And citrus. you just cut them up into small pieces. And, and then, then you just do your, your oh, caramel that's stunning. so nice. And then again, I've got some beautiful lemon curd. And that's everybody kind of says, oh, so you've wasted all these eggs. I don't. I make a beautiful curd, either a lemon curd or an orange curd, whatever's in season. Okay. I mean, you can buy, obviously, the woolly shop one, which is amazing. And then I take a little bit of cream or yogurt. Okay. You know, the full cream, beautiful Asia Always yogurt. Always full cream. Always amazing. And that just breaks down the sweetness, because that yes. is sweet. So you, sometimes you want a little bit of tanginess. And then I just fold a little bit in here. Yummy. So yummy. And I like that it almost has that lemon meringue that... Bite exactly, to it. yeah. You know, the back of your tongue when you feel that mm, exactly. that's the best. Yeah, that's fabulous. So that's a bit of cream whipped, and then we're just gonna plonk it on top okay. like that. And then you've made me so no, nervous. no, don't worry, I'll trust you with that bowl. It's fine. <laughs> I and wouldn't then you just, trust me with just it. Just give it a swirl and a little bit more just for like texture and colour. Okay. And then you can see I've got punnets of these beautiful edible flowers. Okay. And then, and then just give it like a little bit of a marbling. And then to dress it, which is one of my favourite things and that yeah. I've seen that Woolies does, it, is yes. these edible flowers. How do you know what flowers are edible and what aren't? Can I start decorating well, this? Yeah, thing? absolutely. So Please. what you've got, obviously, you know, you can, yeah, you can pick them yourself. Obviously, nasturtiums, which are kind of grow like weeds. I have them every winter in my garden. They're very peppery. Um, these are pansies, which are great, and violas and violets. And they're just, oh, how beautiful uh, yeah, they're is beautiful. This? Yeah, you're so I careful find it when so you. It's so cathartic doing things like this. This is just so enjoyable to do. It's and a nice I mean, it's thing just to do about, with your mom, actually. Exactly, and it's about taking it to the table, and it's about all the. You just, it's a really simple dessert. You just need a little bit of time, but it's really just baking it for a long time. And then I've got some caramelized. Yeah, throw that on. Clement I mean, golds as well, which will give it a little this? bit of toffee. And then what I've done before, instead of the segments, I've just kind of cut all the rind off and then toffeed them whole. Ooh. Um, and it's yes. really like this explosion pavlova, which is amazing. I mean, how splendid is and this? Then I mean, that's the word to describe it, it splendid. Is, yeah, and these are snapdragons, which are really cool. I mean, these are, I just wanted Ooh. to give you like a little sniff of those. I mean, they, they're quite, oh. I know, they're quite, um, they're quite, how fragrant and beautiful are they? I mean, I just want snapdragons yeah. everywhere. And then these have got like a bit of a Amazing. tangy flavour. Not that you're oh. going to eat them on their own. You're going to scatter them onto salads, onto your desserts. Even when I make cookies <laughs> with the kids sometimes, and it's fabulous for Mother's Day, oh. is to the raw dough. Once you've kind of rolled them yeah. all out just to bake them, then you just press a fresh one in and oh, then you bake Abigail, it. Abigail, you are a dream <laughs> in a kitchen. This has been really, really such a treat. Oh, Thank great. you very much. So Thank to you. receive this pavlova recipe, SMS the keyword TREAT to 33650. <laughs> You'll never forget the word <laughs> because Abigail is such a treat in the kitchen. Oh. And if you want to see how Abby and Seba enjoyed a berry version of Abby's gooey pavlova in the taste, a taste kitchen, take a quick look at this clip. <laughs> I need a spoon. I can always offer you this one. <laughs> oh, mm, mm. I've got something here. Have I? Food. <laughs> Flowers are just so versatile, it tastes good and it's really beautiful. So if you're looking for a way to tell that special lady in your life that I love you, try adding Woolies flowers to celebrate this Mother's Day. And of course you get a personalised bunch of flowers at Woolies on Saturday the 11th and Sunday the 12th at Eastgate, Canal Walk, Sandton City and Gateway Shopping Centre. We are because of you.